And you don't have to be a conspiracy theorist to wonder exactly what President George W. Bush knew about the attack and when he knew it. According to the official White House version, it was at this moment in a Florida classroom that Bush learned the second plane had hit the World Trade Center and that the U.S. was under attack. But here's what George Bush himself said almost three months later when asked about September 11th. I had, was sitting outside uh, the, the, the classroom waiting to go in and I saw an airplane hit the tower of a, of a TV, you know, the TV was obviously on and I, I used to fly myself and I said, well, there's one terrible pilot. And uh, I said, it must have been a, a horrible accident. But I was whisked off there. I didn't have much time to think about it. Now, wait a minute. George Bush was told about the second plane while he was inside the classroom. So you just heard him describe seeing the first plane crash on television that day. But that's impossible. No one saw the first plane crash on TV on September the 11th because the videotape of it didn't surface until the next day. So how could George Bush have seen what he said he's... Wait a minute. The president tells us he saw the incredible image of the first plane going in. Nobody saw the first crash on television because no television crews were filming the towers at the time. This particular video of the first crash comes from a handheld camera that was recording to videotape. The television studios did not even know this video existed until hours later. If President Bush is correct that he saw the first plane crash before he entered the classroom, that means somebody was sending live video of the World Trade Center towers to the Florida classroom and from some other camera.